All right. So while sipping my morning coffee, it uh, popped into my head that it would be good to let people know of some nifty features of Emacs. If you know it very well, those who don't know it, it might be beneficial for them. I'm talking about Emacs input methods. Say, for instance, if you do not, English might not be your first language and you wanted to use different dialect or different language, you might do so inside Emacs. Okay. In Emacs Lingo, it is called to, to input methods. And there is a way to activate it I'll show you it's a, it's a short video but I will left you with something you can look up on okay to give you some sort of demonstration let me go to my uh, this is a max running in terminal as usual as always um, so to invoke so if uh, to invoke the in Put method all you have to do control X and forward slash look at the bottom of the screen by default it takes RFC 1345 and non sky only as it described in the section it has got tech and as you can count it it has got another 256 variant or dialect of stuff it include Japanese it include Chinese it include Czech it includes emoji, it includes Arabic, it includes Wells, so many Slovak, so many other stuff. All you have to do, uh, if you select any one of those, that particular functionality, this particular functionality of transient input method will be uh, activated on this particular buffer where you are in. Okay, that means if you're writing something on this particular buffer where you are invoking this particular functionality, transient input method with a different dialect or different language, which will be applied to this particular buffer. Okay, so it might come in handy if you are coming from a different background and having a different fluency on different language. So Emacs allows you to choose from here. Here are lots of, as you see, 256 option, right? So uh, to, to give you some sort of idea, control HF, uh, what happened? Okay, so um and uh, hang on control h f and activate so you can see uh activate transient input method this is the function and it is bounded by default with control x and forward slash which will show you the drop down list you saw it a few seconds back okay where all the dialects and language are enlisted so I'm going to show you the source code of it in case of you are interested to know where it is coming from how it is described pardon a little bit of lagging I don't know why it's getting lagged um, here it is uh, written uh, activate transient input method this is an interactive method because I sh shown to you that you have to select from the top down specific dialect or specific language. Uh, it is clearly written select and enable a transient input method for the current buffer. Okay, and it is bounded with this particular key. So and in my machine because i'm running a particular version of Emacs, as you can see uh, which is not yet released but doesn't matter really it could be different version to your Emacs in your machine you should get the source code look like this okay so it is clearly stated how things work behind the scene so it might interest you 
So this is a nifty feature which comes bundled with the Max. You might try it out if you if you are inclined to. I thought it would be good for some people. I hope it will be useful for you people to know about it. And so like this. So go ahead and try it yourself with a various different dialect and language if you if you if you need to okay thanks for watching